This is my friend. He is Squish She. I will keep you as a friend. You are my friend now. You are a Squishy. Where are we doing? Where are we going, folks? Hello, fish. I will scan you. No, you're not stealing my stuff. A medium-sized predator known to spit super cold salt water to freeze its prey from afar. A large bladder, bladder on the brine's wing under, under uh, side fills with seawater um, as it swims. Some water is filtered through an eternal membrane, leaving a strong saline solution. Two flat transparent flins act as radiators, releasing heat and cooling the bladder. Can contract the bladder, expelling the super cool brine, freezing the seawater up to several meters. While warm brother life forms may suffer minor injuries on contact with the brine, it's not cold enough to freeze most invertebrates. The real danger is being too being helpless encased in a block of ice, sinking ever closer towards its jaws. Oh good okay. Some of the water Uh, there's some, oh yeah, log, uh, that we can... I'm telling you, Sam. No. I want to offer... Robin, guess what? I got the job. I'm going to 4546B. Now I'll be able to improve the mechanical avian amphibian under real-world stress conditions. Listen, I know your stance on Altera. But I just hope you're happy your sis is happy. I sure hope my sis is happy. <laughs> I can't wait till we talk again. Oh, I wanted to ask you something. Can you watch my Augie while I'm away? Augie. I need someone I can trust to look after my best little potato. <laughs> I have so potato. much stuff. Listen, I tried, but that name is just not sticking. He's my little extra bite. I'll leave the starchy tuber as nicknames to you. Anyway, if you say yes, thanks, baby sis. Love you. Look at this picture. Interesting, like, crystal thing on her neck. 4546B to Robin. Come in, Robin. <laughs> Remember when we used to play old-timey space explorer? This is kind of like that. But it's even harder to communicate. <laughs> well, let's see. I got your last message. Altera is not, Eat as you put it, terrorizing me. May turn your stomach. Well. My project has a new name. Say goodbye to the mechanical avian amphibian. And hello to spy panglings. We're training the bots to mimic the creatures. Check out the photo. And I think I'm kind of seeing someone. Repair tools. I know it's not like me to just find a date. Let alone on a mostly uninhabited water planet. But actually, you know what? Forget I said anything. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's probably not even a real thing. Oh. Anyway, I missed the animation. I'm sorry to hear Xeno Works might be strapped in the revenue department. Sounds like they still have you busy Xeno working, though. I know there's no way to guarantee an alien intelligence startup will succeed, but you've put so much into it. I hope they find a way to keep going. I know uh. how much it means to you getting to work at a small place where you have control over your research. All right, I gotta go. Later, baby sis. Love you. All right, and then we'll keep a break on that. Metal detector, I don't care about. Mobile vehicle bay. So we just got to keep on exploring, basically. Uh, I will get a compass, though. And then that's literally everything I want to make. No really intro for this video at all. You just get straight into it. Alright, we are going. 
So, uh, what do I feel like doing first? Because I, I of course, already played this game, but... Uh, what do I want to show off to you guys? Right there. Very dark water. I'm scared. Jaws. Where is he? Ah! I couldn't get up there. Hey, we scanned a desk. Desk. Mineral frag fragment. Flare. Boom, there's a flare for you guys. I know, I'm very uh, kind. You guys are welcome. My generosity knows no bounds. I said that word wrong, but I don't care. Yeah, what did they even kept in that cage, honestly? Hey, okay, right down here, guys. Oh, that's just light. I'm basically a moth to a flame, that's all. Nice. Beacon. That's really nice. Hey, look. Here's the table coral. Exploitable in computer chip fabrication. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Here's some more uh, data pads. Warning. 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Fred, great to see you. Come on in. You don't mind if I record this, do you? Uh, am I in trouble? <laughs> no. You know me. Just a fanatic for details. And my memory's not what it used to be. Oh. Sounds like a distress call. Transmission of unknown origin. Source of transmission depth calculated at approximately 200 meters. High capacity O2 tank. Let's go. Let's get that sorted away. Let me get this oxygen real quick. Up. Oh. Oh yeah, Fred. Fred, great to see you. Fred, come on in. Best character. You don't mind if I record this, do you? Uh, am I in trouble? <laughs> no, you know me. Just a fanatic for details, and my memory's not what it used to be. <laughs> I know what that's like. <laughs> yes. Is that why you've been running so many personal errands for your colleagues? We asked you to limit them. Uh, so I am in trouble. That's not how I want you to look at it. Here's what I see. You're a team player. You want to get the job done. I think I have a pretty good record there. You want people to like you. Has anyone complained? Fred, the trouble is, not everyone is as reliable as you are. Sometimes people need help being where they need to be and concentrating on their work. All the trips were work-related. It appears you transported tech for Lil, rather far out from her base. Well, it needed to go deep, and she needed a sea truck. Her work is currently on surface installations. She shouldn't be anywhere near the water. I, uh, well, I... No more favors to friends, agreed? Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, I keep telling you. Call me Manu. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Interesting. Oh, distress call. Uh, see truck log. We'll wait for that. Uh, 
No, not Sam. No, person log. There we go. Picked up what sounds like a distress call. Who or what is out here calling for help? Didn't sound human. Maybe it's from a remnant of architect technology. In her message, technology. Sam's did say there was something important here. Even if it's just a mimic from one of the more intelligent aquatic specimens, that could be a major find. Or if it's from Altera, it could have bearing on what happened to Sam. I should definitely check it 90 out. 90 compared to 30. Yeah, it's so good. Um, it would be cool to get uh, another high capacity, honestly. She shouldn't be anywhere near the water. Well, I mean, maybe she wanted to a little explore. Maybe she wanted a little, little see the planet a little bit more. Chance of lead. I need silver. That's the thing. It is a blizzard up there. Quite literally. Old fish. Yoink. Who's over there? More salt. Honestly, Trish trying to get some silver because I'll rather get that capacity before we do explore a little bit more. And I guess that takes me back here, so I guess, yeah. Eh, yeah, nope. Don't want to look at that. I want to see the first uh, sea truck log. Kelp root, contrary to the name, visual aspect of the kelp root is thwait twisted, twisted stem. The root system anchors deep into the rocky walls of the cavern. Some kelp root grows a pustle across the stem, which uh, by farms, plants slowly ejecting out toxic materials, harvestable and used for fabrication. Here we go. Violence. Violence. Violence is not the key. I wanted to drop this. Let me take a picture. Here we go. Um, common, yep, fabrication. Scratch my back. Oh yeah, I do already got a piece of um silver. Warning. Passing one hundred meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. It'll be fine. Okay, catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Nice. Cool, three pieces. So one piece can automatically be used for the cap fabrication of this high capacity tank. And then also the other one could be used for anything else I need. Like if I just do, if I need a wiring kit. 
Not that bad. Not bad at all. But this is some late night recording. Um, yeah. I keep on saying some episodes where I'm like, oh, hopefully I get the video uh, schedule back to together and better. But the thing is, I've been very busy. The end of the year is happening. I mean, the end of the school year is happening. Volunteer work is about to, like, stop, so. A lot of stuff to do. Very busy schedule. But I'm glad I was able to get the video. I'm trying to get these videos up. I have squishy. Squish eye. Quartz. Nice. And then... You... Is there something else to make that isn't the mineral finder or whatever? Oh, light. And then laser cutter, do not know. I'm just gonna eat this. Ninety. Who is making that sound? Who is outside? Oh wait. Okay, no, it's the penguins. I'm fine. Don't be violent, don't be violent, it's fine, it's fine. Eh. Let's do another message. Hey, Robin! I, I got your Augie photo. Robin! No, actually, I'll wait till a little bit later. Let's go load down. Hello, fish. Goodbye, fish. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. What was over there? Ah, mobile vehicle bay. I need you. So we heard alien distress call. So we gotta find him. I'm going over here. To see if we see anything. Oh, I see green. Okay, I see. He's going crazy. It's gotta be in this cave somewhere. He's going insane with the distress call. Oh my god. Absolutely insanity. Over here. Don't leave me. Ah. Alien robot, a design simple, purpose low threat. Levels, odds with advanced technology apparently available to designers, suggesting it was intended more for patrol alien facilities and repair damage instructors. Hello? Is someone there? In the memory of speaking. We're running out of time. Hello? 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 Despite the simple design, the construction is quite elegant and minimalist for electronic mag magnetic lead. Oh, <laughs> you guys can read this. I can help you better if you show yourself. If we could show ourselves, we would not need storage. Oh, you mean don't you don't have a physical presence? Are you one of them? An architect? Storage medium identified. We will be lost unless we find a new host. You guys can look at five kilotons of TNT. Can you use my PDA for storage? You are not with the group from before. Your cybernetic components failed their signal. 
Altera? <laughs> no, my equipment is, uh, borrowed. It will have to do. How long have you been stored here? Longer than that. Warning, South Chain Power, critical. Our data can be downloaded from the terminal. We may speak more once the transfer is completed. Yes, okay. Hurrying. I'm gonna scan you. Alien Archicent Containment Cube. Oh my god. It's in my way. It's in my way. Uh, while advanced human advanced human civilization has attempted to, for centuries, develop successful whole brain emulation techniques, it appears that the Archicent race, Archicent, race have built platform for accomplishing the Holy Grail of life extension technology. Physically, the uh, containment computers appear to be complies of redundant arrays of quantum holographic storage layers, supporting a hyper dense of 35 bits per electron. Blah 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 blah, allowing the intelligence in storage to maintain consciousness throughout the the storage period. Blah blah blah. You guys can read this. All right. I'll end the video very soon. Storage medium accepted. Brace from Chester. Brace? Ah! Ah! What's happening? Chester. 0010001000. Oh! Chester complete. How do you feel? Why do you sound like you're inside my head? The facility identified hospitable capacity within your cerebral cortex. You are in my head? I offered you my PDA. Get out! Oh, no. Does your kind perceive a boundary between cybernetic and organic components? My mind is not a component. You sound angry. We will allow you a moment to process. Don't you go silent on me. Hello? This is not happening. That's the explanation. It's not happening. Exactly. It's not happening. This whole place right here? Actually, uh, uh, a cave. I'm just going insane. Hyperthermia is getting to me. I can't feel my toes. I can't even feel my balls. I'm a lady. Oh my god. Bridge. Oh! I'm a marathon runner. Exercise. Ouch. Woo! Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Let me get back to base. Um. Maybe some sea trucks on the way. Possibly. Maybe. I thought that was a PDA, no. Give me oxygen. No. Right now, good sir. Oxygen just for my... Oh, sea truck. You see, it goes really deep. But am I going down that deep? I don't think so. Do I think I should get some lead? Probably. If there's a whip, there is a way. If there's a whip, there is a way. Left, right, left, left, right. No. Oh, I thought I keep on seeing PDAs, but I don't. More logs or something. Hey, right. Oh, yes, rebreather. Thank God. Rebreathers, like guaranteed, like always need in both Subnautica games. I would like to be able to breathe, good sir. Please and thank. You. 
blood. Thank you. Oh, were we vehicle bay? Now, now. Where is this other sea truck, though? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yours, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Bum. That is a bad guy. They are not nice people. They are very mean. Gur, gur, gur. That's them all day. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. You better leave me alone. Oh my god. Yes, right there. Sea truck fragment. Yes, we have a vehicle now, my guys. So instead of the sea moth. We have the sea truck now, which some people, it's probably a debate on which one's better. Is sea moth or who's chasing me? Is it sea moth or sea truck better? I personally think, <sighs> I don't know. In the first game, it was a sea moth and then the giant submarine. In this game, it is a uh, sea truck. I don't know which one's better, but the sea truck, yeah, you're gonna see the upgrades that you can have on it. It's pretty, pretty sweet. I really do like the sea truck, though. We are almost there. You saw me get some resources and try to find some sea trucks and blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna do a lot of editing in this video either, I guess. Because it's also late night recording. After this, probably maybe hell divers or don't, don't start together. Alright. We understand this arrangement is undesirable to you. You're not real. Go away. To go, we require a suitable body for transfer. Why do you keep saying we? How many of you are there? One of us and all of us. We do not think of ourselves as individual, distinct. Why don't you start by telling me who you are? You may append your seed code to my species designation. Please call me al -Am. My whole life I've been dying to meet a sapient space-fearing alien up close, and you're telling me your name is Alan? Is it insufficient? No, it's fine. Perfect. Where Sir. are you from, Alan? Wow. Your kind calls us architects. The precursor race. But what are you doing here? That is a long story. Perhaps you would prefer to focus on the construction of a new storage medium to which I may transfer. Yes. Fine, absolutely. How do we get you out of my head? I have added the information to your data bank. You Two. will need to find the necessary components. Any idea where I can find them? It is unclear. Three, four. I have been disconnected from my network for so long I cannot locate the coordinates. <sighs> Frustrated. While we have uh, beyond physical attachment, is it is a traditional to navigate space time in a conjunction with mobile biomechanical storage media altered involved over time to serve the inhabitants' needs. While it is possible to transfer between media at will, there is some comfort and prestige in improving a body over time. We have settled on a, a popular format of these me media. Though there are exceptions, this heavily modified version of our pre-civilized bodies. It provides good mobility, easy adaptation, and easy to fix. In case of disaster, we can back up our data patterns to sanctuary sites for later retrieval. Storage in this fashion is, is safe, provided constant power supply. However, unique perspectives and traits which arose from the interplay with the original medium are lost. It is like a factory reset. It is recommended that individuals be restored to a compatible medium, medium as soon as possible. Such hollow vessels may be fast grown from seed using specialized blueprints and materials. While well, it's technically possible for an individual to copy their data in order to duplicate themselves in an infidium, such behavior is considered beyond rude. Oh wait, 
to copy their data in order to be themselves. Beyond rude and, and self-respecting architect would resolve such circumstance by immediately deleting themselves. Ha! Huh. That's funny. Hey, why don't you make multiple copies of yourself? No! No! Never. Two... I think I collected four seeds, so I'll be able to do another... Rubber. Here we go. And I think I'll call that for the episode. Look at that. We got a rebreather now. And we have... The rebreather facilitates extensive free diving by recycling air more efficiently at significant depths. Breathe the freedom. Breathe the freedom. What is outside my base? What is this? Oh. Did I not miss scanning you? Why are you going around in circles? I missed scanning you. Alright, let's read this and then we can end the video. Bird like creature hunts small fish fish below the water, huddles and packs of on the ice above. Oh look at that. Teeth. Consume small fish and regurgitate them for their young, retractable tail and claws allow for fast evasion to predators underwater, maximum grip on ice. Sharp teeth concealed inside the beak tear chunks of their aggressors and prey alike. Huddles and packs on the surface for protection against the cold. Less cuddly than they look. I don't know. They look pretty cuddly. Alright, that is the end of the episode, guys. Say goodbye to Squishy real quick, and, uh... Bye-bye, y'all. Peace.